Bee Colony Collapse Disorder You all must have heard of the phrase busy as a bee and it truly justifies the lifestyle of bees these hard working little creatures spend most of their life pollinating whatever comes their way and ensures the growth of flora kingdom this is a fact these active little creatures called bees are quite beneficial for us in many aspects from their pollination services to providing food and contributing greatly to enhancing biodiversity and beauty in landscapes and gardens these tiny little things have been there and done that honeybees are responsible for massive production of varieties of edible food and in the form of apples onions nuts pumpkin leaves roots and seeds including milk and meat they are also essential to pollinate the almond crop 60% of professional bees that's right professional bees help almonds survive just like almonds are beneficial for us they are nutritious for bees as well over the past decade various beekeepers across the world faced frightening phenomena which almost swept the population of the bees from the face of the earth and the reason it scared the most of the people was that if bees were to disappear from this planet humans would follow the same some years later speaking of bees and their contribution to our life one third of our meal is the direct and indirect result of pollination because of bees during these years a massive decrease in productivity resulted in great loss in 1998 the us faced 5 million hives lost and 2.8 million in 2015 In the year 2006 this hive loss was identified as a serious phenomenon of bee colony collapse disorder that is CCD CCD is a phenomenon of the disappearance of enormous bees in diverse parts of the world 60% hive was in the year 2008 30% in 2013 40% in 2017 to 2018 Though now if we relate the high loss case has reduced but this case still needs consideration over the period of time the situation was brought into control yet the risk of losing our beloved bees is still not over and scientists are hell bent on devising a solution which could help us save these beautiful hard working creatures In the CCD phenomenon the majority of bees disappear leaving behind the queen the young and the food reserves researchers announced that dead bees are neither in the hives nor near them they are just gone and it's hard to figure out where and what causes it someone observing the behavior of the bees closely claimed that the bees just knew when their end was and they used to fly away from the hives so that they don't infect the hives and the bees living in it Colony collapse disorder accounts for too much genetic uniformity, poor nutrition due to overcrowding, pesticides and others. According to scientists and researchers, no cure is found yet. In a year, honeybee pollination is worth 15 billion to the US farming industry. This disruption has raised prices of not only nuts, fruits and vegetables, but also dairy products when they collapsed. Colony collapse disorder also affects the imports of produce from foreign countries. Scientists and economists say that if bees are not there in the near future, then the agricultural industry will be in major trouble. Some of the reasons that scientists thought were building up to cause CCD were Varroa destructor like the name sounds they are dangerous and one of the major reasons bees are in this condition they are external parasitic mites that target honey bees and are dependent on them to reproduce as well as feed off them they are like the biggest enemies of bees they only reproduce in honey bee hives lay eggs on bee larvae and weakens them not just that they shorten the life span of honey bees and also transit virus these virus kills the larva paralyze bees and deform the wings of the bees and leave the bees useless a carapace woody just like varroa destructor they are the parasites and the microscopic mites the difference being they infect the trachea that is the breathing tube of bees more than 100 mites can populate the trachea of the bee which leads to the bee being weak and ultimately its death neonicotinoids Neonicotinoid is a neuroactive insecticide which is similar to nicotine that is found in the cigarettes. 
It is preyed on the crops to save them from insects that damage the crops. But its disadvantage is the chemicals that are absorbed in the plant's nectar and pollen and hurting the bees in the long run. This neonic makes the flower toxic for bees to consume and affect the ability of bees to fly home. Neonicotinoids are widely used insecticides in the world. We need food and for the food we need bees. If bees will die, plants will die and millions of people will starve. For solving this case, many steps have been taken. USDA, United States Department of Agriculture, releases the latest honeybee health survey. Now, 2.89 million honeybee colonies are there and this is the 3% increase from the previous year. The number of hives lost to CCD is also 27% reduced from the previous year. European Union has banned certain pesticides to save the bees. People are planting wildflowers to recover bee habitat. It is also advised that gardeners should avoid using outdoor insecticides near flowers to attract bees since the contents of the particular insecticide may not be known and could harm the bees in other ways. It is also advised to nurture plants to save the plant and save the bees. The more you plant, the more bees get plants to pollinate that are insecticide free and bring down the rate of bee mortality. Some farmers are experimenting with other types of bees. They are cultivating bees like Rue Orchard Leaves, Alpha Alpha Leaf Cutter and Bumblebees. The Environmental Protection Agency banned 12 neonicotinoid pesticides and also decided to re-evaluate the use of all neonicotinoid pesticides by 2022. The German state of Bavaria also stated that 20% of agricultural land will be organic by 2025 to turn 10% of green spaces in Bavaria. This will turn Bavaria into flowering meadows and protect rivers from pesticides and fertilizers. More often, these cases are ignored in the media. These kinds of issues need to be taken care of at the earliest. Environment, climate catastrophe and species extension should be in our priority list. These kinds of issues need to be taken care of at the earliest. We may not be scientists and could not contribute to the cause in a scientific way, but we can contribute through simpler things like this, which are easy to perform and requires less to zero skills.